Brand new day, brand new haircut. Let's go scratch away under the car because now we can show you guys finally some paint. And I think some paint underneath the car will take away the worst looking part of the car right now. And I think that's pretty nice because that means some progress. Let's go. So guys, brand new day. We have some help over here. So Robin is over there Hello. scraping away on the back side of the car. And um, yeah, the paint is in, the car is almost fully scraped down, but we have some rust. So over here you see Robin chiseling away on the body of the car. Um, yeah, as you can see, let me turn on a better light. Over here we have a rust spot which we need to weld. Over there we have an all, another one. On the other side of the car we have this point and this is the, this is the point where the uh, strap is hanging from which connects to the rear axle. We need to weld a nut on the other side because this was the first bolt on the whole car that broke off. Pretty amazing if you ask me. Fully. Um, tearing down the car and then only one bolt breaks. The other sp uh, spot I'm doing is over here and this is a tricky one because over there it's just making a panel on the back side and making, making a panel in front of that connecting those done. Over here we have yeah a spot I thought I was done with because I replaced this full front panel I replaced a panel over here and I didn't even yeah, really grind it off those welds. I do need to finish some welds. Um, yeah, I found that out, but all in all, I'm pretty happy about this pillar. The door fits amazingly, and I don't really, really, really care about yeah some welds showing. But um, yeah, the problem we have, as you can see, I'm already starting to tear it open. Over here is a hole. And that hole is there because on the back side, as you can see over there, we had a big hole. Um, I yeah, put a tiny pla uh, plate in there from the inside of the car. So over here I have made a panel in there. And as you can see, it's already to start already started rusting again. So we need to fix both of those holes and actually the panel that is rusted through is the, the complete floorboard on the yeah folded over edge. So I'm gonna do my best to fix that the best I can. So to start off I'm gonna um, scrape off some of the um, Fertan paint which I put on there. Then I'm gonna make a cut over here. I'm just gonna chop this panel um, down a bit so I can get to the back and when the full back is restored I can then make a tiny new panel which I will weld in over here and then it's done. So guys, we're gonna go welding. Um, yeah, to start off with what I did, uh, you just saw that I made a new panel for the floor and I also made a template for the side panel. Let's go and check it out. So over here we have the new panel for the floor. 
as you can see that fits perfectly fine the old one was actually running over to this side and then it was just pinched together and the top part was also pinched onto that but what you get you will get a tiny triangle shaped hole when you um, weld it together that's of course a nice spot for rust so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna weld this one flush with this one so directly together and when that's welded we can then make the new panel which will go from here to down there and that will connect all the way flush so i think that's the best way to do it as you can see when you look across it that's pretty straight over here it's all it's all flush no ridges or edges or anything so i think we are going to weld this thing in and when this one is in we can make the other panel and then this rust job is also completed and by the way as last we need to smack back this edge which will connect the beam to the uh, side of the car i just uh, drilled that loose so we can fold down the edge and get every single bit of panel welded into the car but yeah we're gonna put that one on and we're gonna go welding So guys, um, we are both going home. Uh, we did some amazing work today and I'm just gonna show you guys it for a very quick time. Let's turn the welder off. Um, I've just worked um, on the front of the car for most of the day and look at this. So here is a new piece in there. It, 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 it looks very weird with the scratches of the sander, but lower on there, so there's like a piece onto there and there's like a piece over there and this is this is it on the outside as you can see there is a weld running from there to there but i can grind it away more but the air compressor was just overheating a bit and this is the back as you can see there is the beam over there you can see partially the new plate again i need to finish this so i need to uh yeah finish it up run it away and then we were just welding on the back side over here and sadly yes the trunk has already been primed and painted but we found some holes so now we have a huge gaping hole in the wheel well can't do anything about it that's just how restoration is um, so this is where we're testing um, it's a pretty pretty decent piece 
he was doing a great job and it was just teaching how to hold the welder how how yeah horizontally vertically and then um, teaching him how to yeah move it or just don't move it how much heat you can put in it when do you need to cool it down with the air compressor and go on it takes time but it's fun um, i'm gonna finish this up tomorrow and i'm gonna hopefully finish all the welding tomorrow and most of the unaccepted car and then tuesday so tomorrow tomorrow is monday and tuesday i can hopefully get this thing in primer and maybe i'm also here wednesday depends on how much work there is at the yes the martin shop but we'll see about that and i have to sign a contract for the new shop so that's also very exciting Third time is the charm, as always. So guys, um, I'm welding in the wheel well and all of a sudden I have no air in my air compressor. So I checked it out and the engine, like the electric motor of this um, compressor, it's just not working anymore. It's not, it's not kicking in, It's it got power. The thermal switch was out, the fuse, but it does get power. The uh, compression is out of the air compressor pump so it should turn on freely but it just sounds like it just shortcutting and yeah not good so i have a very strict uh, like schedule for this project right now because the new shop is incoming and yeah now i can fix an air compressor so guys it's actually friday and we're still continuing with the amazon and i have some great news um the shop has been signed for, so the new shop is definitely incoming. Um, I have also bought a two-post lift already, used but serviced with warranty, with a um, license and everything else. So yeah, big uh, changes are coming to the channel. Um, so if you have your own car and you want to have it fixed by me, uh, you have some welding to do, you have some engine stuff to do or anything else, hit me up on Instagram or uh, mail me at mail at rollingheritage.com. Of course, I'm in the Netherlands, so no overseas stuff or anything, but um, yeah, if you need some help on your car, hit me up. So the reason for the air compressor to br uh, break down was actually the bad condensator. Uh, that's a device that makes it start up slowly and then gives full power after it has started up. So all in all, it's a good fix for 15 bucks. But it did set me back a couple of days. So um, before the air compressor broke down, I was actually working on the wheel well uh, onto this spot and this spot. So this is the template I made and this is gonna go into there. So I need to cut a nice piece of metal, weld that into there, make some holes connected to each other. And then when I'm gonna prime, I can, because I need to prime, um, yeah. The one spot over there and the one hole over there so i'm gonna uh, finish up that spot and i'm also uh, when i'm priming i will be uh, thinning out the primer with some thinner with some paint thinner and then it will be very 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 thin and then we can get a brush and just shove it into there and then it will seat down through the seams and if i'm doing it doing it doing it correctly it will then drip out underneath of here and then the whole uh yeah in between the panels will also be protected so that's that um i really wanted to have the welding done today so i have a full day ahead of me so i'm not going home before everything is welded
wild hair day, as you can see. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty happy of how today is going. Um, like I said, I was welding those two spots in the wheel well. I already sanded the wheel well and I have put one door back. The reason for that is that, of course, I'm moving shop very soon and I need, to, need, need this thing to be in primer. So once every 10 minutes that I need to wait for the air compressor to cool down, which is leaking by the way, if you can hear. Um, once I need to wait, I then can send doors, fenders, or anything else. So I'm trying to be as productive as I can because I have about two weeks to get this thing paint ready and then about two weeks to paint this thing while I also have to paint my new shop, install my two post lift, install everything else, rewire all the electrical stuff, then make the um, break room, like my office, very nice because yes, I have an office in there, it's amazing. I have a whole second floor, which is mine, and a lower floor. So yeah, I'm spending some pretty serious cash every month for that place, but it will be amazing. Um, let's show you guys the welds because then I can swap the car around to this side of the shop and weld the other wheel well on the left side. Over here we have one of those pieces so yeah you can see it by the uh, yeah little bump which there is uh, I'm gonna try to smack that out later um, when I end this video uh, but this piece pretty damn nice it's pretty flat as you can see I tried to make the arch as good as possible for now but I might need to make this one a little bit more round this one I'm okay with there's a little bit of a corner over there but look at that that is the wheel well side all nice flat and done and over here when you look in the gap you can see almost no light it's a bit hard to focus as you can see but if I put the flash of my camera out and I use my flashlight on the inside of the wheel well Oh, look at that. I'm now actually shining into that spot. And the spot is over here. And as you can see, almost no light. So what that means, if I put a little bit of seam sealer on the inside here, around this edge and around that edge, that would be perfectly fine. And look at that. All flat, all nicely grinded down. So over here we have some more room and there is the fender, well the fender, the wheel well I mean. Um, yeah it's pretty uh, straightforward, lights on, that's that, that's that, no rest at all except for that one little spot over there. Guys, it's a bit less talking and a bit more hard work over here. Um, trying to get the full on the side of the car uh, completely prepped for paint, which means very much sanding. So guys, um, I'm ready for primer. My face is very, very dirty as you can see. 
and I'm looking like a white marshmallow. So, yeah. This uh, suit feels like a permanent wedgie, but uh, I think it will do the job of uh, keeping my clothes clean because I don't have anything with me and I need to eat at my parents when I'm done. So, yeah. Pretty uh, smart idea of mine. Um, yeah. We're gonna paint. So I'm gonna wipe the car down and then we are gonna get some brushes and we are gonna just brush the stuff on there. This primer is perfectly, suiting for, perfectly suited for brushing on instead of uh, spraying. Of course spraying works perfectly fine too because yeah the trunk is sprayed in the same stuff. But for now we are just uh, gonna use this. So I have very weird short sleeves um, but yeah. This is fashion guys. I mean, this is really, this is really fashion. Let's, uh, let's go. So guys, um, yeah, there's primer everywhere. Um, this suit doesn't do shit for me. <laughs> so yeah, there's all kinds of primer seeping through the suit. Um, just an update, uh, I am not gonna get the whole car finished today um, because I need to go eat and I have, haven't eaten all day. So I'm pretty hungry and yeah, I really wanna go to my parents and go have some dinner. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I have done until now. I know this is a longer video than I used to make for the past like I think two, three, four videos. But you have to subscribe to see the full, full end result. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. You will help me out tremendously. Um, I'm not making super much money of YouTube, I'm making around 30 bucks a month, so that's around one euro a day. And that's for all the hard work I'm doing right now. So I will, yeah, it will help me out a tremendous amount if you just subscribe. Leave your comments down below, that will also help the YouTube algorithm. And of course, hit that like button. But for now, I'll show you guys what I have done until now. So over here you see, of course, the rear of the car and we are going to go straight to this wheel arch. As you can see, wheel arch is completely painted. Then this lower spare tire area and then we're going to get to the good part. Look at this, all gray primer. Trying to get some good shots. 
I think this is a nice one. So you can see I have uh, painted the inside of that shock tower, how you want to call it, but I haven't painted that this side because I'm not happy of, of all the rust that's inside of there. So I need to do that later on. Um, and of course I need to do the complete front of the car. But as you can see, this is going pretty amazing. As you can see the new panel I made over there, the beams. So yeah. I hope this this shows it a bit for you guys. I know it's a weird shot. Maybe if I do it like this. So I think that sums it up. So I'm going home. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching these videos and sticking here with me. And yeah, I'm uh, pretty uh, freaking done. So yeah, by the way, that's not paint. That's a tattoo. Um, yeah. I think uh, for today it was a uh, pretty uh, decent progress. My face is still uh, pretty dirty, but yeah, I'm going home. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye bye.